Online videos are here to stay. The question is, do your online videos look like this? Or do they look like this? The difference is using the right equipment. So how can you get decent quality equipment for under $1,000? Stick around and I'll show you. Let's start with the cameras. What I recommend is getting the Canon T5i series camera. Now you can get an older T3i or maybe a newer T7i, but the Ti series is an excellent camera. Now, what these cameras are is digital SLR cameras. They look like your typical point and shoot kind of camera. Now, why would you use that over a video camera? Well, the issue is both quality and control. See, a DLSR camera will have a larger sensor, which will just create a sharper image. And also, the DSLR camera will allow you to control the focus, the aperture, and a lot of important things to make your videos just that much better, where a typical video camera will not be able to do that. Now the TI series, one of the reasons I really like it is that it has a number of features that make this super easy. Now, first of all, it's common and it's inexpensive. You can find these used lots of different places. Another reason why I love the TI series is that there's an audio jack right on the camera. So if you're using a lapel mic like I am right now, I've got my receiver just plugged right into the side of the camera. I don't need to be having mixing my video and in my audio in software later. I mean, if you want to do that, then you have to do all that clapping kind of stuff uh, to sync up video and audio. Now this already comes already synced in, already has high quality because the audio jack is plugged right into the camera. Also, the T5i series has a flip out screen. So it's not just the screen that's at the back of the camera, but it flips out and rotates around so I can look at the screen when I'm in front of the camera. Now this is great if you're shooting video when you're by yourself and you're not there with other staff members who are actually recording you and you're just doing what I'm doing, is you're shooting in your own living room, in your own kitchen, in your own study or something like that. That flip out screen is ideal. You want to find out how to get this? Just click the link below and you'll see. The next thing that I'd recommend is a wireless mic called the Saramonic UDMIC15. Now, built-in mics into the camera, they're terrible. No matter what camera it is, the built-in mic has terrible sound. Also, we want to avoid a big handheld mic because a big handheld mic is too artificial. We need to understand that the people who are watching us are probably watching us in their living room or at their desk or at their kitchen table. And you wanna come across with a conversational style and create a conversational image. If you're holding a camera, or I mean, if you're holding a microphone, uh, that just makes it feel artificial. What are you in the show business now? The gas business not good enough for you? You gotta be Ed Sullivan? We got a great shoe, we got a really big shoe. We also want to avoid a headset mic. Now, I love these when I'm speaking, doing public speaking to people who are 50 feet away from me because they can't see that little mic on my head and it follows me around. It's, got, it's ideal for speaking. But when I'm five feet away from the camera, you are going to see that. It's going to look artificial. It's going to look weird. A lapel mic is ideal when you're shooting in these things for several reasons. One is it's invisible. So, I mean, you can't see it on me because I've got it hidden in my shirt. So it's invisible and because it's out of the direct line of fire of my mouth, you're not going to get what we call plosives. Plosives are that <laughs> sounds that you get when you're holding a mic right up to your face. It's a little bit out of the, the line of fire, so you're not going to get those high impacts against the microphone diagram, diaphragm. So a Pell mic. Now the Saramonic mic is just a decent quality mic for a really reasonable price. Now you might be able to do this for free because your church might already have a lapel mic, just use that one. But if you don't, this is a good budget version of a mic that you can get and just check the link below. The next thing you might want to get for your gear is softbox lighting. Now softbox lighting is not that expensive. I'm using a mount dog softbox lighting kit where I've got three sets of lights and it gives me 
a good light up here. I've got a light there. Just makes my, my face look nicer. Gives me a little bit of a shadow to my face. Makes me stand out. You want to find out more about lighting, watch my lighting video. But the softbox kit give you the right color of lighting. So I'm using 5600K, the temperature of the lighting, which is basically the same as we were outdoors. So it's kind of colored to the light of the sun. So it's kind of a daylight, even though I'm shooting this at night. It's got the right color. Softbox lights, because the light is coming from a big source, gets rid of harsh shadows. So that really helps. And quite frankly, softbox lights are cheap. You want to find out about how you can get a good lighting kit for a low price, just let's check that link below. And then the last thing I'm using is a newer, or newer, I'm not exactly how to pronounce it. Looks like it's newer with an extra E. Dimmable 5600K LED video light. Now it's the same temperature color, 5600 Kelvin, as my softbox lights, but I'm using it up there. So it's behind my shoulder against sort of opposite of my, my prim primary light, which is right here. And it just gives me a little bit of background light to me to help me pop from my background. So you can see just sort of a little bit of a light edge on my shoulder. So that's just a, a little cherry on top. But quite frankly, these LED lights are, are inexpensive and they just help that quality just look a little bit better. All of this put together, the camera, the mic, the lighting kit, everything, under a thousand dollars. Decent quality is gonna mean more views for your videos. The people who watch your videos are gonna be watching longer. You're gonna get more shares and ultimately you're gonna have more impact. And after all, isn't that what we're looking for? This has been helpful. Click like and subscribe. Stick around till next time.